Hi Steve, Lee Hogan here, VIP TV. Uh, come down to have a little chat about September. We've got a couple of cracking shows lined up. Yeah, we've got a good start to the season, you know. It's only just ended and it, it's soon starting again, but you know, uh, we, we're going to have a little bit of a break in our and we'll get a bit of a time away and then uh, come back and it, it, it's full steam ahead, Lee, yeah. Well, you've got uh, uh, another VIP fighter versus VIP fighter kicking off again with a central area. Is it central area? Uh, World weight title fight between Adam, 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 can say Adam Ismail and uh, Joe Tonks. It is, yeah, and you know, Central Area titles, you know, they, they give people a lift, you know, and uh, you always get a good fight because mainly it's people fighting for the first belt, mm -hmm. and it's the same here with Adam and Joe, but we've got that extra incentive. A, they're both VIP fighters, B, you know, uh, they trained in the same amateur club, they come from the same okay. background, so there's a bit of a rivalry there. And then the trainers, John Smith, is obviously yes, the Tonks cut, man. <laughs> for, for Tonksy, so they're going against each other. So, you know, uh, it, it, it's got all the ingredients of um, being a good fight, and you well, know from the past, you know, we, we, we've had good fights. That's what I was saying, every time you've done mm. it before, Steve, it's been mm. brilliant. I mean, we had Wayne Adini against. Um, Cal Dilts, yeah, that was central area, fight, yeah. brilliant yeah. fight. Mm -hmm. um, you had Lewis Cuddy only, what was it, about six months ago, was it? Lewis Cuddy versus Paul Drago? Yeah, one of the best fights we've ever had on that VIP show. Without a doubt, yeah. and then, it must have been about 18 months ago, we had um, Ali Shah versus Mick Hall, and again, another cracking fight. Yeah, do you know what, I forgot about that fight. Well, you, you, you're right, that, that was another one, and uh, they, they, they were match fights when we put VIP kids against mm -hmm. each other because. You know, I wouldn't do it if I thought there was a, a one-sided winner, and yeah. um, there's not in this fight, and there hasn't been in the other ones. I'm just thinking back oh, to uh, AJ Fazy when he fought the, the, the kid in Oldham. And, Ashley uh, Fazy, wasn't it? Ashley, yeah. Ashley Mayall, yeah. And um, you know, he was getting a bit of an eye, and then, then he knocked him out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, everyone thought AJ in the way corner was going to get beat up. We ended up winning. You know, they're, they're the fights that. The punters want to see and a lot of people say it but they don't do it and you know we're at the stage now where we've got that many fighters and what I'm starting to like is the fighters who are asking for it, they're coming to me and saying you know come on step me up, I'll fight that lad of yours, I'll do that and it works because it gets interest you know from the other fighters on the show because they know that there's a good fight so they'll sell more tickets and um, you know from my point of view we're going to keep going on We've got to get the punters through the door because you can't keep losing money. Well, for me, I think the central area title is a little, little bit undervalued because mm. you talk about the southern area title, that's a massive title down south. Yeah. If you win that, suddenly yeah. your next fight is either for an English or British title. Mm. So for me, let's get this back out there again yeah. and start getting people you yeah. know, fighting. Well, I am trying to do them again now and, and like you say, they've got to be meaningful fights for the mm. meaningful title. You know. We, we fell in the line like a lot of people where we've been doing the masters and the likes of them and you know probably for the belt you, you, you don't make a fight as competitive as you should do but when you're doing the central area you've got like the governing body looking at you and uh, you know they've got their eye on it well, so on they, paper, they, won't, they won't put fights through that aren't, yeah. aren't good. On paper you can't really split uh, Tonsi and Ismail. You know, I mean, it's, it's a real 50-50 fight. No, there's arguments for both sides to win, yeah. which is, is, is what, what I like, you know, and um, the, the thing is as well, the kids like it and people talk about boxers won't fight. It's not a boxer, sometimes it's me because they're the ticket sellers and you're protecting them. Sometimes it's the trainers because they don't want to lose. Um, but the boxers will fight and what I'm finding now is that I'm asking people about fights which I wouldn't have asked them about before right. and the responses I'm getting are good because the boxers are going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you asked me about that. And you know, um, well, this was the same, both of them jumped at the fight. On the undercard of this, we've got mm. uh, Sean Lewis who mm. made a great uh, return to the ring last mm. time out when he beat yeah. uh, Sonny Whitting and mm. he's matched up against uh, a really good kid from up in Hull. Yeah, he's fighting Nathan Smith who's undefeated. Um, but you know, Sean's had a taste of what Mash is getting yeah. and he wants some and you know, he's saying, look, come on, get me good fights, I want to prove I'm good enough to go on those TV shows. I want to be sat on that top table with Mash up. And it's great, you know, <laughs> where, not like, oh, get me a pudding. It's like, I want to fight, I want people yeah. to know I can fight. Well, his name's a ginger Mexican, he does yeah. fight and does Yeah, it. listen, he'll put it on uh, Nathan Smith, and you'll see Nathan Smith 
can handle it and um, you know, he, he's undefeated, he, he's bought some tickets himself to, to get support so that's always a sign that they're coming to win so you know you've got the top of the bill, you've got that as a chief support which you, you which is also Jack Arfield in the sixth round, we've been waiting for news on the big fight for Jack so we're keeping him busy just in case something falls through because promises... Um, the activity is a worse Yeah, yeah and too, I, I said to Jack you know don't just wait around waiting for that big fight. You've got to get out and keep 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 ticking over and learning and learning the gym and uh, you'll be better when the fight comes. And so you know we are waiting for the big fight. Hopefully now now it's soon. But you know Jack's, Jack's a treat for people to see because Jack comes and has a fight, doesn't he? You know what I mean? Whoever fights, he's good. Really yeah. impressed me over these last few months. Since he's moved up to this middleweight division, it really mm. seems to suit him. Yeah, and he's really drawn into it now yeah. as well. And he's matured, he, you know, he knows now from the Blackwell fight how close he was to being a British champion. champion. And you know how much being a British champion means to people. And uh, I think he realises now he can be a British champion, he can yeah, go on beyond that if, if he gets the right breaks. Because, you know, you do need breaks in the, the, this um, sport, but you've got to be ready for the breaks. And that's what I'm saying to people, you know, they all think it's them who's unlucky, but, you know, it's not, it's just the business, it's not a great great business to be in for anyone but you're better, you, and you're mentally prepared for, for, for the chance you know you'll take that chance and you know Jack Jack's in that position now and you know just going on with the, the other on the card because it's um, a 12 fight show you know um, Luke Willis is making his debut oh, yeah. he's um, come back from um, should, we, should we say some good stock and yeah. um, mad for it, you know. Um, I did a little interview with him, he's a cracking kid. I've, I've, I've seen him, he wasn't yeah. a little interview, but <laughs> yeah, you know, he, well, as you said, yeah. he out talked yeah. me, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. yeah, so Luke's, you know, in his first fight, he's got Ebrow Rias, who's uh, a good tough kid, so you know, he's not got a ball over there, you know, so. No. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing him fight. I'm not seeing him fight, mate. I've heard good things about him, mate. I've heard about him for the last five years, so. Uh, Luke, Luke Willis um, is Ryan Mulcahy's mate and he, he comes from the same sort of uh, mentality as, as Ryan and mm -hmm. again I heard of Ryan Mulcahy four or five years ago in um, Liverpool as yeah. one who could come through if he got his head right and uh, he's got his head right and I think Luke, Luke's seen him and said that's my mate he can do it I'm <laughs> going to do it and he's determined <laughs> so Luke Willis um, is going to be one to watch. Lloyd Campbell had a win last time at Wigan so uh, He's, he's, he's his debut, fight. Yeah, he's yeah, so uh, he's going to be okay. Um, Tom Barlow, yes, who suffered a knockout in his um, last fight, he was winning the fight and walked on to one. So uh, he's a local kid c c coming back, so he'll, he'll have some support. He's a weaker boy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Richard Starkey, who's yep. like an ex army guy and uh, <laughs> seen his last fight, he, he likes to fight. So he's still beating the way. Yeah, yeah, he could give stop going for a bit of weight away. He's away, still yeah. going to kid around. Yeah, yeah, so uh, he's, he's, he's one to uh, to watch. Sean Crowler, he's got good support. He's mm -hmm. having his second fight. Craig Johnson having his debut. Well, I'm not yeah, he, he's, he's, yeah. he's with Robbie Butler, just turned over pro. Right. Yeah, so he's had a Where's couple of years him? out. So he's based at the Rydale gym in Liverpool. Oh, so uh, you'll have to get down and see Craig. I took him for his interview. A couple of weeks ago, nice kid. Yeah. Um, done okay in the amateurs, but had a two-year breakout. I'm not sure what he was doing. Now he's decided that you know, he's going to have a go at the pro game. So uh, he, he's got Kaz Hussein on his on his debut. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Kaz, Kaz will do that there. Doing um, a favour for for my mate Jason uh, McClaude, putting his lad out, Marty Fagan. All right. And he's got uh, Jamie Quinn, who's. Okay. Unbelievably tough kid. In the top five journeyman in the, in the country. Yeah, Maybe definitely. class him as a danger man. I mean, he always gives everybody a fight. He's um, over Barrett, two really tough fights on the short notice. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that'll be a fight. And obviously, um, Mark Evans is um, having North a Wales. Of Wales. And hopefully, we'll get a win and then we can take him back to Wales because he, he does really well never, down there. Never, ever is Mark Evans in a bad fight. No, no, no. So it's, it's going to be a good night. You mm. know, tickets £30, £50 ringside. I have not put them up in 20 years in the same place as it was when they started. So. And it's at Robin Park on the 3rd of September. Yeah. And what time does the door open? The so? door open was um, quarter to seven for seven o'clock kickoff. So uh, get down there, 3rd of September. I think it'll be the, the, the first show um, 
and the new season and then um, you'll enjoy it. If you can't make it, still going out live on VIPboxing.tv. So get down for a good night or watch it on the YouTube channel. All right, nice one, Steve. Thanks See very much, Lee. Bye. Cheers. Bye.